I believe that there is a purpose for this. I don't know what it is. I'm wrestling that out with God. Ronnie and I have just been married for three years, so it's like three years and two kids. We've had a rough go in terms of um, just financially. We've dealt, his dad passed away in a car accident in our first year. And then to add this to the mix, so stressful. Lewiston was born healthy, full term. Um, my butt. Um, no issues during pregnancy. I went into the hospital at 6.50. I had him at 8.50. We were at home watching playoff hockey at 6.30 that same day. I went on holidays and went to visit my family in Winnipeg. And I went to go take him to a chiropractor because he'd been struggling with colic. And the chiropractor, on the pawn assessment, she's like, I'm, you need to go straight to Children's. And next thing you know, I was being rushed to the resuscitation room and there was a team of like 12 doctors and nurses um, monitoring his stats every 30 seconds. It was like a scene out of an ER movie. A week later on August 11th, um, the diagnosis was confirmed that our son had spinal muscular atrophy type 1. That was probably for sure my darkest day. On the Friday that we were in the hospital, um, the two doctors came in and had a handout and said, it's not just SMA, it's SMA type one. And usually they don't make it till their first birthday. And so that was like our big blow. Cause I was grieving like him not being able to run or having to buy a wheelchair accessible van and like redo our house. I wasn't thinking that he wouldn't make his first birthday. After we got the news, I just curled up into a fetal position. And I just cried and, like I just wanted to, you wanna die, you just, you don't, you wanna sleep, you wanna hide, you wanna not have to deal with reality. I'm just like, I question, how does a loving God let this happen? Like we've already been through enough God, we've, we've been stressed out, we've dealt with death, like why now, why more? Ronnie and I made a pact that um, we wouldn't let this tear us apart. Um, divorce rates in families with kids with disabilities is extremely high, so we try not to use the divorce word, and we know that we have to stick together as a team, and so like when we make good decisions, we like pound it out. We high-five each other, and we celebrate the wins because this is our new life, and so there's gonna be some good, so we really celebrate the good. I can choose to be angry and bitter and frustrated and depressed, but that's not gonna do anybody any good. That's not gonna be a good example for Lewiston. And you get to choose your response to every circumstance. I know I can't do this journey without God. It is scary and long and hard and dark. And I'm mad at him. Oh. I cling to the fact that maybe the miracle isn't an in saving Lewiston's life, maybe it'll be somebody else's. The picture in my mind that <clears throat> saves me and just brings me joy is Lewiston running into the heavenly gates. He doesn't have any limitations or challenges. I picture him running into um, his grandpa's arms, Ronnie's dad passed away. and. I just picture those two being best of buds up there. <laughs>